Hi lovelies and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys my February favorites and I know it's kind of like March something, but it's not the first week. So, it's late. But anyways, there's this. 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 This thing is the best thing that I've ever used in my entire life. And I'm not exaggerating. This is St. Ives Fresh Better Naturally a Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. And it's supposed to prevent blackheads and minimizes pores. Well, this is the best scrub I've ever used in my life. I have used other ones before and they were pretty lame. But this one, this one, right after I use it, my face feels fresh and clean and so so soft it's amazing um as for the acne part though um well it has made my acne go down a lot like just not i don't have as much as acne as i did before but i don't see that it like cleared my skin like completely and i understand for the price it has this one is amazing stuff is amazing look how cute the packaging is so cute, although I'm pretty sure that they changed their packaging now. But this is Lime Crimes Velveteens in the color Suede Berry. And it's beautiful, you just put it on your lips and then it dries matte and it's beautiful. It's amazing, it smells. All of their products are also smell amazing. So this one smells like, this one smells like, like candy. And it's amazing and I love it. So I will give it a kiss. You deserve a kiss because you're amazing. And it says vegan and cruelty free, so yay! I'm not a vegan, but maybe I should be. Okay, the next product is a mascara, and this is Day to Night Glanize Volume Defined Length Slash Intense Volume Mascara by Rimmel London in the color 003 Extreme Black. And it has two little wand thingies, it has the length. And the volume. I'm pretty sure it's the same brush, just some, something happens. I'm not sure what, but something happens. And there's a difference between the two. I have tried it and been like, whoa, why are they in the same tube? They are weirdly different. Anyways, I only use the length one because I'm not a volume person. Um, but this is my favorite mascara of all time, so you guys should totally get it. I mean, I'm not telling you guys you should totally get it, but you know. If you're looking for a new mascara, I recommend this. I love it, use it all the time. The next thing is actually hand sanitizer. You guys might be like, what, hand sanitizer? Yeah, well this is Victoria's Secret Love Spell Antibacterial Sanitizing Hand Gel. And I love it because I love this smell. It smells so good and I love it. Um, yeah, I really like these from Victoria's Secret because they smell so good. I love their scent, so I'm so glad they have these. Okay, the next is a brush. And I'm not gonna lie, guys. <sighs> this says it's for, it's a two-time eyeliner brush. I actually don't use it for eyeliner. I only use the side, it has two sides, it has this side, which I don't know what I would use for, and this side. And this side is what I use for my eye shadow when I do my eyeshadow, and I really like, I really like it. I like it better than the little things that eyeshadow comes with. This is um, Image Essentials Two Timing Eyeliner Brush, and I use it for my eyeshadow, so shh. Okay, this thing I had to buy on Amazon because you don't sell it anymore because it was like a limited edition thing. And this is a Clinique Chubby Stick in the color Plumped Up Pink, which I'm actually wearing right now. And I love this thing so much. My favorite. I love Clinique Chubby Sticks. And they're small. I know they're supposed to, like, they're, that makeup line is like no smell or whatever, but, or whatever it is, but I like how it smells and it's pink and it has glitter in it and it's just the definition of Jessica because Jessica means glitter and pink. 
Oh, speaking of glitter. This is another lime crime product. I'm not gonna lie guys, lime crime is one of my favorite makeup brands. Although I have never bought anything that was in a lip product. So maybe I should look into that since I like them so much. And this is their carousel gloss in Snowsicle. Look how cute the packaging is. Okay, well this is super glittery. Can you see? It's so glittery. And I really like the brush actually. Okay, why is it doing that? Ugh, this smells like cupcakes. I'm wearing cupcakes on my lips. Oh no, I turned the brush pink. But yeah, this is mm, my favorite lip gloss because it's glittery and amazing and you can't see in this lighting because it's not very good. My favorite lip balm this month, and yeah, this month, you guys should just know now. Every single month when I do, or whenever I do my monthly favorites, there's gonna be a lip balm involved because I go through lip balms like this. Well, I don't go through them, but I lose them or I just use them a lot. Actually, I do use them a lot. I have a friend who was like, Jessica, you wear like 100 pounds of lip balm a day and they're, she's probably right. Now this is um, Soft Lips Birthday Cake my favorite one so far. Soft Lips is my favorite lip balm brand. So I have, I want to, my goal in life is to have all of their flavors. Okay. This thing has saved my life. You guys have no idea. Ever since I found this product, I've been in love, in love, in love with it. So it also deserves a kiss. Got, got some glitter on there. Now this is Dream Fresh BB Cream from Maybelline and it, this is the tone light to medium and I love this stuff so much like red skin like when I wake up I don't know my face is just brighter like I blush really easily so this stuff kind of like takes away the red like the redness so it's great love it use it every day because my, I hate my skin Oh my god, I have another lip gloss. What? What? Another one, Jessica? You already showed us one lip gloss. Well, guess what? I'm a lip gloss queen. So this is Italia Deluxe's Jelly Vitamin E Moisturizing Gloss. Shade 03. I don't think that's the name. So, yeah. Just shade 03. I actually got this in my, from my trip when I went to Mexico last year and it's my favorite because it's so pink and might still be like five years old sorry so my sister wanted to go watch the Lego movie so me and my mom went to go watch it with her and it was the cutest movie ever so yes I recommend that movie go watch it it's fabulous it is pretty kitty because it is for kids but I was in love with one character. Can you guys guess with what character? So I had to have her and her best friends. We we're just like best friends forever, right? You kidding? Best friends forever. So yeah, you and Kitty just hangs out with me at random moments. She just might pop in to the videos sometimes because she's great and she can do whatever she wants. Because you know what? She is fab, you lust, and I can't snap, so I had to fake snap. Like seriously, can't snap. Oh, did I kind of do it? Is that snapping? You guys, it's really, really, really softly, so can't snap. I never had been able to in my entire life. Oh, and whistling. I can't whistle either. I guess that's not really. Spring Breakers and it's an indie movie and you most people hate it. I like it because Selena Gomez is in there and I really, really like Selena Gomez. Even though she was barely in it. I don't know. I think it's a really vibrant, neon, beautiful movie. I like, I like it. It's like a party in a movie. I like it. I like the fashion. Party lifestyle I lived, I guess. Parties seem like a lot of fun. So if I went to one, that would be cool. So yeah. This, this two movies are 
my babe because they're so like fun and I don't know, I just like them. <sighs> Guys, I'm kind of a nerd or whatever, I don't know. The Sims 3, this game, I could play it all day, every day. It's my favorite thing to play on my computer. Just like, oh Jessica, I'm so bored, what should I do? Ooh, ooh, Jessica, I know what you have to do, play Sims 3. What else bag I bought from Nasty L. I'm just gonna say I'm completely in love with it. Look at it. It's all graphic and it's beautiful and right now it's not really changing color, but it changes colors all the time and people are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just like, can I see your bag? It looks so cool. And I got so many compliments on it. It's beautiful, I love it, it's so cute. Nasty Gal is my favorite website to buy things from. But then again, I could say that about any website. But if I could buy everything from Nasty Gal, I'd be happy. I'm totally in love with, it's called Shots. And I think I'm gonna have to, oh no, I'm already signed in. Okay, great. Wait, what? Am I signed in? No. Okay, well anyways, it's this app where you take selfies, pretty much, and there's no filters, so you know what everyone really looks like, what their real, real self is. So you're like, oh, wow, this chick is real pretty. Well, guess what? It's fucking real. It's not, no filters, no filters, that's my favorite thing. And you can only take front face, you can't like change the camera to that, so it's just like selfies all day, every day, and I really like it, because who doesn't like to tell, take selfies? No. Maybe I should talk to you guys about my favorite YouTubers this month. I will, because you guys, this is my first monthly favorite. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about all the things I love. Now I'm more into like alternative music and I am 100% Mexican, so I know Spanish. So I s listen to both. Can I play this in here? No, it's not, it's on there. <laughs> okay, well anyways, I'll just go to the artists. They're so good and amazing. Motel, can you see them? Not really. I'll leave links down in the description bar below so you guys can listen to their music. But there's one song I'm totally in love with by them. It's called Sonia de Ti and it's featuring Belinda and Milkman. It's amazing. And it's off their album called Prisma? Prisma? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for English because I can't leave that. Um, I didn't, you know, YouTuber Megan or like Strawberry or whatever. I don't know, I'm such a baddie. <laughs> well, anyways, I really love her videos, no disrespect or anything, but I didn't know she sang with Lucas, with a guy named Lucas, and they're so good. There's a song called Player 2 that I got released on February 14th, and I love that song, listen to it all the time. YouTubers. The first YouTuber I'm gonna talk about, and I'm gonna leave their links so you guys go watch their videos because they are amazing. I'll do, I'm just gonna do four. My four favorite YouTubers of all time because this is my first monthly, like I said, so I'm just gonna say my first four. Two boys and two girls. Yes. Okay, and it's gonna be one girl that's like a Mexican or Spanish speaking YouTuber and an English speaking YouTuber, so yeah. Number one would be Yuya, her lady 16 makeup. I'm not really sure, but I love her videos. She does makeup and like life, like she does like, I guess life kind of videos. Cause she does food and stuff too and like room decorations. So I really like her. She's my favorite beauty girl. And then number two would be I Just Seen and she is amazing and I love her so much. and. I have to blame her for my Minecraft addiction right now because I started watching her Minecraft videos and I love them. That's basically why I want pigs in my house because I want to hear the pigs oink all the time in my house but I can't because I can't get the pigs in my house. Okay, sorry. Anyway, third YouTuber is Screamow. I think that's how you say it. And he's a really funny guy. and. He's really great. I don't know, I really love his videos. He's real, real funny. Thank you. But yeah. Um, and number four would be Jimmy Trato, or Life According to Jimmy. And his videos are real funny too, and I love him. He's great, he's my, he's really, he's really great. You guys check out their videos. They're really great. And they all upload at least one video a week, I think. Yeah, I think so. So if you guys are like, ooh, 
I really like them. I want them to upload videos frequently. Like, I know there's some YouTubers that only upload videos like every something, like it's just random, like only when they feel like it. But I'm pretty sure that all of them. Jimmy does videos on Mondays, I think. I Justine has like a million channels and she uploads frequently on all of them. Scream out, I'm not sure about his schedule, but he uploads one at least every week, I think, for as far as I've been watching for like the past three weeks. And then Yuya does usually two videos a week, Thursday and Friday. Yeah, so two videos a week. So yeah, if you guys go check them out, they're real great. See you guys, see you lovelies next time. Bye!